Throughout the Mesozoic era, our planet underwent enormous and challenging changes. Dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals dominated the Earth, rhythms, the seas the and the skies, living in environmental conditions very different from what we see today. Looking back, the landscapes these animals adapted to might seem like environments impossible to live in, but it was their ability to adapt that allowed them to survive for millions of years. Although environments such as deserts, swamps, plateaus and polar regions had harsh conditions, the dinosaurs and creatures of that time thrived and survived thanks to special evolutionary mechanisms. From scorching deserts and flooded forests to freezing polar regions, the life of these creatures stands as a testament to the power of nature and the miracle of adaptation. When we think of grasslands, most of us imagine lush green fields with abundant vegetation. However, in the Mesozoic era, the land was very different from today. During the early part of the dinosaur age, all the continents were united into a supercontinent called Pangaea. And the grasslands at that time were not like those we know today, as plants were mostly ferns rather than grasses. Still, these grasslands were home to many herbivorous dinosaurs, such as ceratopsians, hadrosaurs and ornithopods. Interestingly, although there was no grass, these animals still found abundant food sources from ferns and other plants. Large herds of dinosaurs moved together across the plains and they were also preyed upon by carnivorous dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex. This scene certainly brings to mind grand footage of epic battles between massive creatures in nature documentaries. Grasslands were excellent habitats for herbivorous dinosaurs, but the swampy areas, often flooded, were the real paradise for these creatures. These vast swamps not only provided abundant food, but also housed herbivorous dinosaurs like Iguanodon, Polacanthus and Hypsilophodon. Notably, these swamps were also home to a special dinosaur species, Dinocairus. Dinocairus was a plant-eating dinosaur that lived in what is now Mongolia, during the late Cretaceous period. With a length of up to 11 to 12 meters and a height exceeding 4 meters, Dinocairis was one of the largest herbivorous dinosaurs. However, the most interesting thing about this dinosaur was not its size, but its long forearms and giant claws. These claws, more than 2 meters long, may have been used to bend trees and gather leaves from tall branches. Not only did Dinocairus eat plants, but it also consumed fish, which helped it adapt to life in the swamp, where there were abundant food sources from both land and water. The development of its long arms and ability to forage underwater is a great example of how dinosaurs adapted to harsh living environments. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel today to never miss the latest, fastest and most exciting videos. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the most interesting and unique content. Let's explore the colorful world and knowledge together every day. Reclaimed. From Black Sand Shore. While dinosaurs adapted well to swamp and grassland environments, not all areas were easy for life. Deserts, with their harsh climate and lack of water, were difficult environments for any creature to survive in. However, the Mesozoic period also saw some dinosaurs thriving and living in these conditions. One prominent desert region during the dinosaur era was the Gobi Desert, home to many dinosaur species like Protoceratops, Oviraptor, and Velociraptor. Today, the Gobi has an arid climate, but during the Mesozoic, it was once a tropical forest. Dinosaurs in this region developed unique survival tactics to survive in the desert. Protoceratops was a small herbivorous dinosaur with a dome-shaped body. These dinosaurs did not have sharp horns like other ceratopsians, but they had a thick, soft portion of their head that may have acted as a shield helping protect their bodies from the desert heat. 
Species like Oviraptor and Velociraptor, although small and lightweight, had feathers which helped regulate their body temperature, much like modern day birds do. A particularly interesting desert dinosaur was Shibuya, a small alvarezaur that measured only about 70 centimeters in length. What made Shibuya special was its large eyes and excellent hearing, which allowed it to hunt at night when the temperatures were lower and predators were less active. These adaptive strategies show how dinosaurs found incredibly smart and effective ways to survive in a harsh environment. While deserts and swampy areas tested the survival capabilities of dinosaurs, the species that lived in the cold environments of the Arctic and Antarctic regions at the end of the Cretaceous can be considered the most resilient warriors of the Mesozoic era. Although the polar regions were not as cold as they are today, they still presented a challenging environment, especially with long winters and darkness lasting for several months. In the Arctic, Alaska during the Cretaceous had a much milder climate than it does now, with coniferous trees and a scattered forest environment. However, dinosaurs still face the harshness of the Arctic winter, where temperatures could drop below freezing and nights lasted for several months. One of the notable species that lived there was Pachyrinosaurus, a large herbivorous dinosaur discovered in Alaska. Despite living in cold conditions, this dinosaur managed to remain stable during the long winter months without migrating and living in the Arctic year-round. Scientists discovered that the bones of Edmontosaurus, another herbivorous dinosaur that lived in Alaska, showed marks on the bone structure similar to the rings of a tree. These marks indicate that these species adapted to the Arctic winter and were able to survive the long winters without migrating. In addition to Pachyrhinosaurus and Edmontosaurus, other species like Nanuxaurus, known as the Dwarf Tyrannosaurus, also inhabited Alaska at the end of the Cretaceous. Nanuxaurus, which was smaller than its cousin Tyrannosaurus, reached 7 meters in length and weighed only about 2 tons. This dinosaur developed characteristics adapted to survive in a cold environment and possibly had a short coat or a body structure that helped it stay warm during the long winters. The life of these dinosaurs in the Arctic also tells the story of resilience in extreme conditions. These species adapted to live in the prolonged darkness of the polar winters, when sunlight was almost non-existent demonstrating that the ability to survive in extreme environments was one of the key factors that allowed dinosaurs to endure see, through various stages of Earth's history. The sheer scale of this dinosaur, nicknamed the juvenile Deinotyrus, meaning terrible hand, wades through the swamp, using its broad beak to gather aquatic plants. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel today to never miss the latest, fastest and most exciting videos. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the most interesting and unique content. Let's explore the colorful world and knowledge together every day. Similar to the Arctic, Antarctica during the Cretaceous also experienced a much milder climate than today. It was not a completely frozen land, but rather had dense tropical forests. The dinosaurs that lived in Antarctica had to face difficult conditions, but also ones full of interest. Cryolophosaurus, a large theropod that could measure between 8 and 9 meters, was discovered in Antarctica. This dinosaur not only had a massive body, 
but also a strange crest on its head, which could have been used to attract mates. Although Antarctica at that time did not have the thick ice layers it has now, the climate was still cold enough to create a challenging environment for animals. However, Cryolophosaurus was able to inhabit the area due to its ability to adapt to the extreme conditions. With a temperate climate, Antarctica during the Cretaceous was home to several species of dinosaurs, though these species only existed for a short time before the climate changed. These animals were like temporary inhabitants of a land with a different climate and a unique ecosystem. Additionally, islands of that time, such as Hetic Island in Romania, were also home to particular dinosaur species. Dinosaurs like Magyarosaurus, a dwarf titanosaur, and Telmatosaurus, a classic ornithopod, developed in island environments and tended to be much smaller than their relatives on larger continents. This phenomenon reflects island dwarfism, where animals often develop smaller sizes due to the lack of large predators and limited resources. This dwarf development is also observed in various species of prehistoric animals from the islands like Hotsigopteryx, a giant pterosaur that developed on islands. Island life can offer an isolated environment where species must develop special characteristics to adapt to limited living conditions. The future of research on dinosaurs and their adaptation capacity. With continuous scientific advancements, we are gaining a deeper understanding of the extraordinary adaptability of dinosaurs to extreme environments. New discoveries, such as the identification of dinosaurs that lived in polar zones and on isolated islands, are expanding our knowledge of the lives of these ancient creatures. Each new fossil discovery gives scientists an opportunity to uncover more mysteries about the lives of dinosaurs and how they could have survived in extremely harsh environmental conditions. It can be said that dinosaurs were creatures that survived and withstood millions of years of major earth changes. This not only demonstrates the strength of their adaptability, but also offers us valuable lessons on survival in nature. By learning from these prehistoric creatures, we can also find ways to adapt and survive in today's conditions and possibly in the distant future, when humans face new challenges, not on Earth, but in space. Conclusion The adaptability of dinosaurs and prehistoric animals to the extreme conditions of the Mesozoic is a testament to the power of life. The lesson of the resilience and survival of these animals does not belong only to the past, but it gives us great value to reflect on and apply to our current lives. Discoveries about dinosaurs will continue to open new horizons, helping us not only to better understand the history of our planet, but also how life can develop in extreme environments, from deserts to polar regions.